hey guys welcome back to our channel if you guys are new here my name is kelsey as you guys can see by the title today i'm going to be explaining if my three thousand dollar purse was worth it or not um let's be real three thousand dollars is a lot to spend on a bag and i thought making this video would be really beneficial because i do get quite a bit of comments and questions about it whether i made the right decision or if i like this purse if i'm going to be getting more designer pieces um so yeah i just thought this would be a great video for people to click if they're looking to buy this purse or just like another luxury designer purse in the future so yeah without further ado let's just get right into the video all right so we're just gonna start from the beginning kind of give like a background on the purse like why i decided to get it um how much it was all that and i have like my notes on my phone just to keep my mind in track because i like, keep forgetting like everything i want to say about this purse so background about it um this is the envelope medium bag um and it's the black color and with tax in person i know it was 2900 so pretty much three thousand dollars on the website though it says it's 2300 um i've had it for now about i think two and a half years um yeah it's my very first saint laurent purse very first designer purse anything i'm very new to the designer bag area industry i guess you could say um, I chose to buy this purse specifically and this brand specifically because for one, I have been to like many designer stores um, in Chicago in the past and not really liked how a lot of like the designer stores treated their guests, I guess you could say. Um, not to like call out any of the luxury brands, but Chanel definitely gives off one of those bad vibes. Um, I would say Louis Vuitton kind of did too. Gucci was okay, but I particularly don't really like a lot of their styles. Um, I was kind of going back and forth between one of the purses at Gucci and Saint Laurent. Um, but every time I had been in Saint Laurent, I just really liked how they treated me. Um, they really just made me feel like I was a great customer and they were willing to help me find exactly what I wanted. Um, I expressed that it was my first purse that I ever was getting from a luxury brand um, and they took care of me really well. Um, I also just really liked this purse the most because since it is my first purse from a luxury brand, I wanted it to kind of be a staple in my future collection. Um, I wanted this to be like an everyday purse that I could kind of wear with everything, which is why I mainly went with the black color. Um, it's really hard to decide because I really like pretty much all the purses at Saint Laurent, like literally all of them. So it's really hard to like pinpoint one, but this one really stood out to me because I felt like it could fit everything that I wanted in the purse. Um, and just like it had a really appealing look to it and it just felt really nice and classy when I was wearing it so that's mainly why I decided on this one. Um, I also decided to buy in store specifically um, opposed to buying online because I did want that kind of experience. I feel like if you are buying a designer item it's best to go in store to feel out, like I said, how the staff treats you and how they make your shopping experience because let's be real, you don't really want to buy a $3,000 purse from a luxury brand that's not treating you um, with utmost respect um, and treating you as if you have the money to buy it, I guess you could say, because there's definitely like brands that do not treat you with that kind of respect. So that's why I specifically wanted to go in store and get that kind of experience because it kind of all in one it makes you want to buy the purse even more. Dang, I forgot what I was gonna say. All right, um, now that I've given kind of like a background on the purse, um, I want to talk kind of about pros and cons of it. Um, was this purse worth it? You know, was it not? How I feel about that. So we're going to start off with pros. Number one, um, the obvious. It makes your outfit go from like a 7 to a 10. Um, it's just like a classic piece that will really step up your wardrobe and make any outfit stand out. I feel like this purse is such a classic to have in your collection if you were to buy this one. Just because it does go with every outfit since it's black. Um, and... I love the size of it. I really like how 
it fits everything you need um, with not having too much because I hate carrying around big purses personally. So yeah, that's like number one pro. Um, the number two, the quality of course. Um, I mean, I feel like if you're spending $3,000 on a purse, like the quality should be, you know, top tier. Um, so I will say from my personal experience, the quality is at the utmost best that I've experienced. Um, so this purse particularly is real calfskin leather um, with a bronze tone metal hardware. And it does have like a magnetic strap closure, which I absolutely love. Um, the longer I've had it, I have noticed it's kind of harder for that to close. Um, but when I first got it for like the first year, um, it just snaps closed automatically without you having even to like shut it close, if that makes sense. <laughs> um, yeah, I just kind of wanted to read like um, the details of this purse because I know a lot of people find that appealing. Um, and especially when I was in store looking at this, when the lady was describing it to me, that was really interesting to me because I wanted something that had really good quality. Um, because like I said, if you're spending that money, you need to have that kind of quality. That's just like a given. Um, number three, the third pro I would say is it's an investment. Um, I believe everything in fashion comes back around eventually. So even if this purse were to go out of style in the next couple years, next 20 years, whatever, it will come back. Um, you see so many vintage designer purses, um, just designer pieces in general that many women um girls are starting to use again um especially i would say like the louis vuitton purses um from the past that used to be super popular and for me it's always been like a dream and a goal of mine to kind of have that collection that if i've outworn it and don't want it to one day pass down to my daughter if i have a daughter um i mean i feel like if they don't want to use it i would still love it so i just feel like it is an investment to buy this kind of um, purse this luxury purse at this price so I would really love to pass that down one day and yeah I just think it's definitely gonna come back in style if it one day goes out of it so another thing um, I would say the fourth um, pro sorry is it's motivation for me honestly I my dream has always been to buy designer pieces not only just purses for me it always makes me motivated to work harder um, to buy those kind of things for myself just shows wow I really put in that work and I'm able to buy that with my money and that's like a huge pat on the back for me and just continues to push me to want to do better and just to keep buying those kind of items I don't know I just I I guess I like them all right and now talking about cons so cons there's definitely um a lot that i would say um that comes with buying a designer purse so let's just get right into that um the first one i would say it's kind of a scam to buy designer pieces i'm not gonna lie um it's not always worth the hype um you realize after a week it is just a purse like for me after i had bought this purse the, like the second day i was like like keaton kept asking me like are you still as in love with it like how do you feel and like you know it literally lasted like a day for me like the happiness of it and realizing i had it and then i was like no like did i is it worth spending that much money like i don't know like i don't know if it is worth just that much for a purse you know um so i do feel like it's like a hype um there's definitely hype around designer pieces a lot of people in this world like to buy them um, I personally will continue just to keep buying them because that's my own thoughts on it I know it's kind of like back and forth for me like like I just said that it is a scam not worth the hype but yeah I will probably continue to buy it um, that might make me seem a little like a fake about it but yeah I don't know I just like there's something about making how making it making yourself feel good even if it is a short-lived happiness um but yeah i would say it's definitely hyped up for sure um so that's con number one con number two is you constantly have to take care of designer pieces not just purses just designer pieces in general um i have not taken the best care of this purse i haven't even really cleaned it yet i can't believe i just said that <laughs> Well, I know I have not cleaned this purse yet um, being that it is my first like designer purse designer piece I I guess didn't really know how to upkeep a purse like I'd never have known anyone really who had a designer purse I didn't know 
really how you're supposed to clean it or what you're supposed to do to take care of it. Um, and I never actually asked any of the people at the St. Laurent store, which I probably should have done again. Um, but no, yeah, you're definitely supposed to constantly upkeep it. Don't do what I did. That's definitely what you're supposed to do with designer pieces. Um, and another thing I would say to add to that is it, you kind of constantly have to watch your back, I would say. Not like, not like oh, someone's going to run up and steal it. I mean, although that is a possibility, I, I do feel like if you're out going out with your girls or your man or whatever and you're bringing this purse, it's definitely something you want to keep in mind because if you're about to get lit and you have a purse with you, it's like, you know, you just kind of have to be careful. Um, that's why I don't really like to bring it out um, when I'm going out. So that's kind of, you know, sometimes I think it's like a waste to have it if I'm not actually going to bring it out. Um, but I just like to be really careful about it um, just because there has been many times when I've almost forgotten this purse. Like one being on the way to New Orleans, I did forget it somewhere. So... That might be a story time for another time, but yeah, you have to be careful. Um, sometimes I'm not, and surprisingly, I sometimes forget that I actually have this purse. So it's something to definitely be aware of before you make this kind of purchase. Number three, number three con, which should have been the first con, I'm realizing. Um, but the obvious is it's three thousand dollars for just the purse. Um, just one item and for a lot of people I understand like that's hard to wrap your mind around that to spend that much on just one thing um, so like that's just a con in itself like not many people want to do that like you can invest that money in many different ways besides a purse so that's just a given con right there um, number four why my fingers look so weird when I do this you know um, number four, I would say it's kind of like a spiral effect um, of wanting more designer pieces. I don't know if this is just me, um, but now once I have this, I'm like, well, I can't just have just this, you know, like that's, to me, that's like, you spend all your money on that and you can't get more. Like that, I guess my mind just wired weird that way, but it is a spiral effect in its own. Like if you have m more designer items by default, you just want to keep getting more. Um, I do believe that to be true, just kind of like how I've seen other women and other people, men, you know, when they buy designer items, they just keep wanting more. So I think that's just a con given right there. Um, you're always going to want more the more you get. So, and I would say the last con is it's not necessarily an everyday purse, this specific purse. Um, I didn't really think about that when I was like actually in the store um, but this purse is for sure I would say for more like nicer events like a nicer dinner um, but I kind of wear it more like the everyday type um, which I don't think you're necessar necessarily supposed to do with this purse so I guess I wish I would have had more thought about it um, maybe gone to like a different brand um, getting more of like an everyday purse because this one I would say um, I treat it like an everyday purse but I wouldn't say that's what it's for um, so I would just do your research if you like want this kind of purse um, Maybe this could be like your second or third to your collection um, But that's just like my personal thoughts on it and what I wish I would have known when I was originally buying this purse <laughs> All right to wrap up my thoughts on all of this. I will say that I feel like this purse overall probably is not worth it to buy um but I'm gonna still get it because that's just how I am. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's worth that much money, um, but I guess people make just some dumb decisions with their money every day, me included. Um, so yeah, I don't know if it's worth it. I don't think it's worth it, but yeah, still gonna get it. Um, that's just my thoughts on it. So yeah, that's really all for this kind of video. Um, if you guys have any other specific questions about the purse that I didn't cover in this video or anything like that, make sure you guys leave it in the comments and I'll be sure to answer all of them. Um, yeah, we are still, you know, uploading videos as often as we can, filming them as often as we can. So make sure you guys are subscribing to our channel liking the videos, letting us know how we're doing and what you guys want from us in videos. So yeah, thank you guys for watching.